At the start of the war, the Union had $234 million in the bank, slightly less than Jeff Bezos, while the Confederacy had $74 million in the bank. The Union had a population of 18.5 million to the Confederacy's 5.5 million, excluding slaves which were 3.5 million. The Union Army was 2.5 million, excluding African American and Native American troops which were another couple of hundred thousand. The Confederate Army had 750,000 to just over a million. The Union had 101,000 factories, while the Confederacy had 21,000. The Union had 1.1 million factory workers, while the Confederacy had 111,000. The Union had 20,000 miles of railroad, whereas the Confederacy had 9,000. The Confederacy did not stand a chance. eighteen sixty three the previous year saw the South win victory after victory, but Lee knows that, in the long term, the Norse industrial power will carry the day. He needs a decisive victory, now or never. Never's going to be the most likely answer, but then again, I'm at the helm. I think we're gonna do that. That we're gonna have a number of decisive victories. Oh shit, he starts. I think we have four armies each in this year. He does start with a two gold bonus, so he's going to have five armies quite soon. Yep, as expected, placing one down somewhere. Didn't see where he puts it. Where he put it. All oh, right, he's put it by the lighthouse. Okay. And then you just got that guy dicking about at the top, and then they're coming for the port. We need to defend this. If we don't defend this, we don't get reinforcements from that, and they can instead. So yeah, need to have it. Shit, I'm doing terribly here. Shit, cannons going for these dudes. He's changing to his cavalry. We need to take out this cannon, and then we can change to these dudes. Shoot, 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 shoot. Good. I think we bayonet the cavalry as well when they get a bit close, as long as you're trying to shoot. We defended it. We took some losses. We are fighting a losing battle here. Right, come on, move your bastard. And he's going to move that one forward. We need to take that army out. We need to be advancing towards his forts. So we have a train. We're going to get two gold, so there's no new armies coming for us. He didn't take the second fort, I'm surprised by that. The fort up here, in the left, or the middle fort. Maybe he knows the Indians will kill him. If you saw my last episode, you understand, or the episode or two before that, you'd understand why. So we're gonna have to go on the offensive here, we can't dick around. All right, forwards. Evenly matched here. Poor, poor. Good. Um, now, how are we going to do this? Fuck them. Let's go for the cannon. Good. Oh shit, I still have my cannon. Run. Ah, bitches. Good. So we've advanced up there. We just need to be broadly pushing forward. Hmm. This is a tricky one. If we don't do it, he's going to attack. So if we're going to lose, it doesn't matter whether we lose now or the next turn. All right, let's push forward. Still then again, maybe the reinforcements will come before the end. What do I use here? What do I use here? Let's go for the cavalry and let's try and take out his cannon. So if we draw the infantry back a little and then he's going to switch it up. And then, shit, now we're in trouble. Fuck, we are in trouble when they do that. Alright. Oh, cheese and crackers. 
Haven't I just lined myself up for the firing squad? You should always come at them sideways. Fucking idiot. Oh well, what can you do? Just hope that reinforcements come at the end of our turn. We need these reinforcements. Ooh, this is a good one for a cannon. Or would be. Good. It's going to take something out there. Good. He's going for our cavalry now. And we've got him. Or we should have him. Hmm. Not bad. And can we do anything else? I don't think we can. Mm, no, that's everything moved. We can't buy a new army. Come on, reinforcements. Mother... Yeah, you beauty. Notice his army's holding its stomach as if it's injured. That's because it is. There's not much left to it. I think we're going to do this. We just need to take a fort or two. Oh, he's going to get another army. Now, if he's clever, he'll place the army on that fort, and then he'll take the fort below. If he's clever. And there you go, he's placed the army there. He's going to attack me, isn't he? Not there, I mean by the fort. What have we got? So, he's got no cannon here. Alright, at least we took that out. In fact, fuck that, let's not risk this. Let's send in our cavalry. Oh, shit. We took them out. Uh, yeah, we've not done well here. We're not doing well. Run, run, run. Oh, shit, sticks. How could I mess this up so badly? Ah. Uh, if I was Japanese, I'd be committing Harikiri now, or whatever it's called. Seppuku. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, his attack note is going for the fort. Sensible choice, sir. Sensible choice. Good. We've got a new army. We seem to have got a bonus gold no matter what. Now, where do we place that? We're a bit ragtag in multiple different places here. Amity, Amity, um, um. So you're full. You're not quite full. You've just got six men. So we can take that back if we pull an army there. That's not a problem. Let's go for the fort. If we can take both the forts, we're doing well here. Equal armies. I should do this. It's just how many people die in the process. Yes, General Lee was famous for uh, having people die. Ah, I lost my cannon there, you bastard. Mm -hmm. Let's take out his cannon first and foremost. Now, I've really been messing up with my infantry in the past however many times. The trick is to fight them side on. And then when once you're reloading, you get a bit stuck, really. There you go. We lost a few people there. We did it, though. Right, now we have a fort raid. My favourite. Yummy, yummy, yummy. See if I can keep calm, stretch the wrists, stretch the fingers, get ready. So we're going to shoot the people in the head. And as mentioned in my last episode, most of the people here are either ginger or fully challenged. Right, there's some health. That's supposed to be in the head, but oh well. We take it. There's someone around this wall. I need to keep an eye on the map. Make sure no one comes from behind. Right, there's some bullets. Worst possible time to come and take them. He is, like, instantaneous with his uh, rifle butt whip. I'm completely off kilter now. Where am I? Someone whacked me. That was on target. That first shot of the three there. Right. How are we doing? Five people left. I need to go and get some of that ammunition at some point. There we go. There's some of it. That was off target. I'll give them that. 
I think is doing it through the walls. This isn't so good. Right, let's get reloading. How many people? Three left. I don't need any more bullets. I do need to shoot here, though. One left. Where are you going to appear, mister? Oh, there's some health down here. That's a good thing. He's going to come across from over here, I think. There he is. One more shot. Come on. And then we've got this fucking fort. <sighs> and breathe. Now, here's the kicker. What have we got? 421. That's a full army there. And 620. Think. I'm going to go for this fort. If we take it, good. If we don't, do. And then there's a few other things I'm going to do as well. One other move I'm going to do. I'm not going to attack him. If I don't, well, I will be fighting him at some point, but not straight away, ideally. Right, a shit place to hold up, but we're here. Still saying that, there's only one door. It's just that there's lots of windows. Right, there's someone around here, isn't there? Good. I was going to get the ammunition there. It wasn't sensible. There you go, got some ammunition. Only got one bullet in the gun though. He's gonna run at me, isn't he? V, 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 V. Ah, have that, you bitch. How's it feel being that white rifle wit? If that's even the word for it. How many people have we got left? Seven. Okay, there's still a load. Fucking I. Uh, right, how far away is everybody? I'm doing badly. Five more people to kill. Where are you bastards? You blue-coated, follically challenged, red-headed bastards. Where are you? Right, there's one outside the door. Let's get him before he pops up like whack-a-mole. There we go. That's that one dead. Oh, he was running to whip me. Okay, we got two left. One's over here. Good. One shot in him. Let's put another shot in him if we can. Nope. Nope. We don't want to run out whilst we're reloading. That's how we get him whipped. <gasps> Missed. Alright, one guy left. Is he going to spawn in this hut? Nope. He's going to come around here. We can do this. Do not run at us. I hate it when they fucking run at us. Beautiful. I'm getting the hang of this now. Right, so instead of going for that army, I'm going to move over here to protect our train line. And then if we go to the shop and buy a unit, we place it down here. He's only got six men. We can do that. Good. And then we take the harbour back. I don't think any more... Reinforcements are going to be coming for a while, so. These have been two terrible shots. Okay, right, let's just move to the cavalry. This is an age pre machine. Oh, fuck, that stone's not useful. Pre machine gun, so cavalry was still in use. Good, and that's it. That's all we can do. He's going to attack us, though. We're going to have to fight him. One of our weaker armies is going to get it. Okay, what have we got facing off here? Uh, six muskets. Two cavalry. Alright, let's charge in with the cavalry. And hopefully we'll be able to take out his cannon. Shit. Completely messed up here. I don't see us winning. into the bullet. Oh, Muppet. Right, so now we have a fort defence. I think in theory it should be the same as a fort attack. I just need to tuck my head away somewhere and shoot people as they run, run through the door. Right, how are we here? How many pissed? No, there's more than one entrance. 
Let's take this ammo though. I'm not going to say no to more ammo. Here he is. Ugh. Yeah, I think if you stay still, they, they kind of gang rush you on this one. We're doing okay. He was running to rifle butt me, the bastard. Good. I think that was a headshot. Right, there's another dude over here. Oh, there's another. Let's just poke our heads out, take a shot, poke our heads back. He's going to run in and fucking try and hit me with his rifle. Obviously not with his comb. More bullets. Been very generous with the bullets. There's been many a time at the towards the end of levels. It's been uh, a bullet a bullet. My kingdom for a bullet. All right. Let's just shoot into the mass there. Maybe we hit something. Maybe we won't. We have the bullet. Oh shit. Maybe we shouldn't. They're shooting back. That's no fun, is it? How dare you come in my hut and shoot at me. Yeah, one thing I've never done, which I'd like to do, is go to an American fort of this kind of calibre. In England, you have castles. You don't really... Well, you do have forts, I suppose. You have Napoleonic forts. But it's kind of all stone-built, whereas these kind of temporary wooden ones that are just pitched up in the middle of wherever. Quite interesting to be. Good. They get kicked back. That means we get all the gold. Unless the Mexes try and steer that. I believe by the time of the Civil War, the Mexican problem had been dealt with. I could be wrong. And by problem, I mean stealing land off them. Apparently the USA could have actually taken over Mexico, but they didn't want to. Because it was just too many people to admit into the Union. Right, we only need to win one battle here, and that's this one. Once we've won this, it's job done. Slavery will continue. Does he have a cannon? Yes, he does. Mm, we're going to lose some people here. Oh, well. The nature of war, but it is victory, and I think that's our final victory. Well done, those damn Yankees have bitten the dust. A great performance completed in two months. The cream of the Confederate aristocracy is celebrating its heroes. There you go, we did it. There's one more year left to do, and then I think I'm not done with this game. I'm going to play it on my own, but I'm not going to make much more content on it. There's only so much you can do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back again soon with the next episode. Bye bye.